This is not a typical bunny hop tutorial. After watching this video, you will understand why all the mountain bikes YouTube bunny hop tutorials will not help you to really learn the bunny hop and why most of them reduce the number of riders who potentially could learn the bunny hop. And of course I have a solution for you so that you really can use the bunny hop on the trail and get a better versatile rider. Hi, I'm Mark from Ride First. I'm a German mountain bike skills coach and a YouTube presenter for many years. And now I just started to do also my videos in English to bring my experience, my knowledge to more people. And I hope I can inspire and help you. Our topic today is the big bunny hop lie. And don't worry, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's about facts and what I see and witness over so many years why many people who could learn a bunny hop won't ever do it. There are so many bunny hop tutorials out there and there are always coming new ones. And recently I saw one and how you can learn it, but they fell in the same trap like many other presenter or coaches do on YouTube videos because what they present and promote as a bunny hop to learn is a very high bunny hop with a complex motion where you yeah like a trials rider maybe and a street trial rider you know what i mean um, it looks like this and what i promote as a bunny hop which is really useful and which is easier to reach as a goal for learning, learning a new skill is the trail hop. And this trail hops is looking like this. And a higher version like this. in the video I'm talking about are calling the bunny flop which has some negative touch like flop is, doesn't sound very positive and something you want to learn so they show a really really high bunny hop and they say that's a real deal and a real bunny hop and so we have this problem about the bunny hop lie because many pro coaches pro mountain bike rider perform and demonstrate this kind of bunny hop as a goal to learn for you. So when you compare the tri leaf high bunny hop like for a bunny hop contest or like Daniel McEskill is doing, you see the motion is more complex and a really important part is to push your bike forward in the air and getting the rear wheel really high and this is what a typical bunny hop um, thumbnail or photo looks like really often when a pro rider is performing it. And both wheels are landing at the same time or the rear wheel lifts slightly before. And if you take a look at the trail hop, the motion is really similar, but this last part of a high bunny hop for a bunny hop contest where you push your bike forward and let it come upwards and the rear wheel uh, gets really, really, really high and you have a really great height. Um, this is missing this part and your front wheel is slightly landing first. In comparison, you notice the more complex motion for the high bunny hop like a trials bunny hop and it's a little bit easier to perform a trail bunny hop and it's also easier to learn.
advanced skills are very important and you have obstacles everywhere on trails so a bunny hop is a common goal for many people and i think it's important this goal should be a reachable goal and something where you say okay i'm sure i can do this and this is my goal and i want to use it here and there and here and not something like oh danny mcgaskill is jumping like such on on really big obstacles and this looks really impressive but many people think mm, I'm not as young and I'm not a pro rider. I am sure I not can do this. Because all these videos show a really impressive bunny hop like Danny McGasker does in the heads of the people who are watching these videos. It's like, wow, this looks like a pro rider thing. And uh, me as an adult learning mountain bike skills and here in Germany, many riders have e-mountain bikes long and heavy. It's not a realistic goal and they say, mm, nah, I think I don't need this and I'm not gonna start practicing bunny hops in general. But if they would be inspired to learn trail hops with a simpler technique, it would be really great and more people could learn this technique and they are not like, oh, I cannot learn this really impressive pro stuff. Now, here's my point. The high bunny hop like a trial rider is something you don't need. You don't need it on trails, on advanced technical trails, enduro riding, downhill tracks, bike park riding. You don't need this really high bunny hop like a trials version. But remember, you can do a trail bunny hop also for a good height. You only need it if you are riding street trials, trial, dirt jump and stuff like this. But there are not many riders who, dis who do this discipline and most of them are really young riders and you don't need to tell them about high bunny hops. So for all the people who want to learn a bunny hop, the trial, trialy bunny hop is not a realistic and reachable goal. But the trail bunny hop is really important as an advanced rider. You could say this is an interesting point, but where's your proof? So I have a few proofs because I did a research and I'm personally I'm a rider for 25 years almost and I did all these disciplines and I know what I'm talking about and I'm a skills coach since 2008. So I witnessed and analyzed thousands of riders and in my research, as a first proof, I found a good video from Neil Donovue, who is a GMBN presenter and a former World Cup rider, downhill and duo on the highest level. And he has a video called Where and When to Bunny Hop. And it's really a well-made video and he shows uh, for line choice obstacles and um, different situations on the trail where you need a good bunny hop. So in this video, he's always doing trail bunny hops and not the trially complete high bunny hop which you need for a bunny hop contest. This shows you don't need high bunny hops like a trial rider and you can do really advanced riding with a normal trail hop. The second proof is when we analyze World Cup downhill riders. So we not focus on the male field because many male riders are athletes who are doing multiple disciplines and many of them do also like street riding, trick riding and so I think many of them who started this at a young age can do a high bunny hop. But if we take a look at the female side of the competition field, the best female riders on the hardest downhill tracks in the world, you can go to the pits and I'm pretty sure because I rode with pro riders before, you can go to them and say, hey please do a high trials rider bunny hop on your mountain bike textbook perfect version like a bunny hop contest please do it now and they cannot do it Be not because they are not able to do it as an athlete because they never practice they can do trail bunny hop they can do trail bunny hops with a good height but they don't 
do this like coaches or presenters or with a pro background and um, trials riders and stuff the really really high bun here because they don't need it for the hardest tracks in the world they ride the same tracks as the male riders so these riders these female riders are better riders than all of you watching and for me also better than me for sure they are faster hardest tracks biggest jumps and they don't need the real high bunny hop so you don't need the bunny hop like a trials rider or a bunny hop contest rider would do the third proof is when i'm referring to the video i told you before there are two coaches and one of them started riding downhill and bike park stuff in an early age and also had some um, other background from other sports so he can do a really high bunny hop like a trials rider and uh, he can do it on a mountain bike on an e-mountain bike the other coach in the video started riding as an adult and is practicing learning bunny hops for many years and yeah as you can see this coach is not able to perform this trials bunny up complete motion yeah and if a rider at this level who's focused on coaching and teaching mountain bike skills on a high level is practicing for years and is still not able to do it this shows it is really hard to learn and if there's something you don't need to be able to do and it's really really hard to learn then you have to think twice is it, is it worth all this sweat, sweat, blood and tears uh, for practicing a total high textbook bunny hop like a trials rider. For me personally it's like hmm, uh, normally I do all these bunny hops on the trail. Uh, I'm going to show you a few ones. And only once a year or maybe every two years there's a video shoot or photo shooting where I need to do a bunny hop with the both wheels landing the same time like the bunny hop like a trial rider does and because I'm not doing this a lot I really struggle a bit and it's okay uh, to do it once it doesn't look perfect but it works it looks like this And as I'm showing before, for higher obstacles, I'm also happy with a normal trail hop. And as you can see in this video. So here's my general conclusion. For you, or for me as an adult, time management is key. And if we have the passion and the hobby of mountain biking, um, and we want to learn important skills to be an advanced and versatile rider, then we need to focus on these aspects of skills which we really need like the fundamental skills and then you have really enough things to practice and to learn and you don't need to spend many hours days weeks months to learn a high bunny hop like a trials rider do because you never need it so now i'm excited to get to know your opinion on that and please be honest what is your skill set now and what is your goal or what are you practicing now? A trail bunny hop, a really, really high bunny hop like a trials rider do. Um, do we have a specific smaller bike maybe to practice this? Or are you one of the people who say, hmm, these bunny hops look so uh, impressive and so high, but I'm happy with a small, uh, small hop with both wheels going up at the same time, which many people are happy with but they are limiting themselves a lot. So I think a trail hop, trail hop would be a really important thing to learn as an advanced rider. Right. That's it for today. So I hope you get inspired to learn a trail hop if you're not already able to perform it and um, I have a video simple bunny hop technique with three points take a look in the video description 
it's also in English and then you can learn this maneuver and it's really important and necessi necessary for you as an advanced rider and don't be scared of uh, these really really pro bunny hops because you don't need them. <laughs>